Here today at the National Motor Museum, Bewley, with team principal Stephen Vokins of Project Running Blade. Stephen, what's this all about? Well, it's a mad idea I had. I was watching YouTube one day because I was bored, nothing much to do. And I typed in lawnmower racing and up came this eight-minute video of Bob Cleveland setting the world land speed record on Bonneville Salt Flats at 80 miles an hour. He was going for 104 and he ran out of puff at 80. And I thought, that looked really, really fun. It looks achievable. I'm sure we could do more. So I just started thinking about it, talked to some mates at the pub and everybody laughed. And then they stopped laughing. And I just thought... Maybe this isn't such a bad idea after all. So took it to the next level, I started talking to manufacturers, picked Countax because of their racing heritage, their managing director is a, a racing driver anyway, Harry Hankammer, and they were just really up for it and they've got so so much wonderful facilities. It was just yeah, the project's just gone from strength to strength and people are climbing on board now with sponsors and it's great. And we're also raising money and awareness for Great Ormond Street and for Wessex Heartbeat who are both charities I feel particularly strongly about. What happens now? What happens now is we, we've done the unveiling, now we start the testing. Um, it's going back to Countax headquarters, they're going to finish it and then we start, we're going to put it on a rolling road to make sure that mechanically it can do 100 miles an hour and also that the engine can, can keep going long enough and then we need to start doing aerodynamic tests to make sure it's stable and that the drag's not going to slow us down too much. And then, come the end of February, we're going to Wales and we're going to take the record. We're not just going to take the record. We're not interested in the 82 miles an hour, 85, not even 90. We're not going to stop till we've got 100 miles an hour in a bag. That's 147 feet per second. You're really excited about this, aren't you? I am beside myself with excitement. It's just so funny that a, a daft idea has got this much mileage and people are loving it. People are really enjoying it. The amount of press that's turned out today is actually staggering. I can't believe it's going to be in all the papers tomorrow. My paper bill is going to be enormous just trying to get all this lot covered. We've been on the radio, we're on TV and we're on the park. You've, you've landed yourself a great driver. How did you manage that? Well, I've known Don Wales for a long time because we look after the, the Campbell Film Archive here anyway. And so I've known Don for years and years. And originally when I came up with the idea it was going to be me taking the record because I thought that would be really funny if someone as unsporting as me getting in the Guinness World of Records. But as the project, as the project got, uh, gathered pace, we, we went testing on Pendine Sands and I drove on the beach at just 30 mile an hour in a Toyota pickup and it was a bit rough and bumpy and I thought, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. So we started thinking, I, th I said, OK, I'm still prepared to do it because I wouldn't ask anybody else to do something I'm not prepared to do myself. But I met Don again at the steam car party after, after they took taken the land speed record on steam. And we just talked about it and um, a few people suggested, why don't you ask Don to drive? And I thought, OK. So I picked up the phone and I said to Don, would he be interested in driving? He was initially, or he was very flattered, but he said, don't you want to drive? And I said, well, yes and no. Uh, he said, well, OK, I will do the driving, but if, if, if you want to take over at any time, it's your project, you do it. But we're really happy to have Don with his expertise, um, and he's just such a charismatic chap to lead, the, lead us publicly. It's great. I have to just ask, in, in the presentation, Claire, a member of your team, said that you had a chaotic mind. And I'm just wondering what your family actually make of this, Steve. My family... Well, we don't talk about it a lot, really. I talk about it all the time, and they just go, yeah, yeah. But no, I mean, they're, they're all behind the idea. No, no one thinks I shouldn't be doing it. They all think it's one of Steve's daft ideas, but this one seems to be going further than most. So, yeah, I mean, we turned up at, at my son's school in the, in the pickup the other day with all the logos on it, and he was just blown away. He said, that is just so cool. And for, for a truck to be cool, that's pretty good, especially in the eyes of a 14-year-old. So, yeah, my, my family are behind it, but I'm amazed how many other people are just be coming behind it. We have a, a big supporters club already. The amount of hits on the website is going up. We opened a Facebook page the other day, and we've got so many members already, it's staggering. And these aren't just local people. These are people from Switzerland, from America, all over the place. It's just, just gathering such momentum. 
just how can people keep um, abreast of what's happening, the developments? Is there a web address? There are two websites. You can always, it's the same website, but two addresses. We've got fastestlawnmower.com, because I thought that was a really proud boast, even though we haven't got it yet. And we've also got projectrunningblade.co.uk. You can see either of those. And as I say, we also have a Project Running Blade page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. We will be doing Twitter. We're doing everything, basically. We're, we're a 21st century organisation. We're just out to, to show the world what a few British eccentrics can do.